Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. Cybertron Weekly is your central hub for everything Transformers. Oh, hey, look, it's Cliff Jumper. Oh, a wise guy over here. back with another toy review and today we're taking a look at another Transformers figure and it's from the Cyber Battalion series at Walgreens. It's Sideswipe. I found this at one of my local Walgreens stores. It's actually the second or third Walgreens I was at. I was looking for Mr. Fantastic in the Marvel Legends but they didn't have him. Uh, but I did find this guy which was really really cool. I was hoping to find a Shockwave but uh, they didn't have him, but they had this guy, and he looks pretty neat, and I got him, and yeah, definitely pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So here we have Sideswipe in the packaging, looking pretty cool. It's pretty much the same box that we've been getting for the Cyber Battalion series. If you don't know what that is, it's a Walgreens exclusive line that uh, they're basically giant Legends figures is the best way to describe them. They're all kind of G1 figures and an homage to the G1 and like a robot face but far simpler transformations. And I, I gotta say, I've enjoyed the ones that I've gotten. I wanna get Megatron and I wanna get a Shockwave. I've seen Optimus, I passed on him, and I'm kinda up in the air whether I wanna get him or not. Bumblebee just looks kinda weird to me, but I'm definitely digging the uh, mold on this guy from the package art anyway. Um, front of the box says he's in robot. There he is in a uh, vehicle. You get some really nice artwork. It's in the Generations line. It has eight steps to transform, and then there's the Autobot logo down there, Autobot logo there, and then it's got Sideswipe with the uh, artwork right there looking all types of cool so just kind of a close-up there it is looking neat there he is it's side swipe and then here's the artwork on the side looking all kinds of cool definitely digging that uh, back of the package has the transformation instructions right there there's a little tiny write-up of uh, side swipe right there robot vehicle transforms in eight steps yeah that's pretty much that um, and then there's a shockwave underneath, so just kind of a close-up right here of shockwave, if I can get it into focus. Yeah, he looks super cool, and oh, I need to find that guy for sure, but I don't want to pay 40 bucks that he's going for online. So yeah, if you need the instructions, there it is, so just kind of a close-up of the write-up. Um, if you want to pause and read that, you are more than welcome to. There he is again, there he is again, here are the transformation instructions. Pretty darn simple, and well, that's it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and get Sideswipe out of box and see what we think. So here we have Sideswipe out of the packaging, and I gotta say, I'm definitely digging this bot. Now, he's basically a retool of the Prowl figure, I'm pretty sure. Uh, he just has a different chest. He actually might be a retool of Bumblebee. Looking at the chest of the vehicle, I don't have him, but uh, he kind of reminds me of the vehicle mode from what I remember in the store. And overall, it's pretty good. I love the head sculpt on this guy. I think they did a great job uh, with that. And I gotta say, the Shockwave, looking at the Shockwave figure in the picture, it looks almost spot on perfect in bot mode. So I'm definitely gonna have to get that guy. Um, definitely liking him. I like his size, I like his bulk, his girth. Um, he doesn't look quite like the G1 uh, figure, but the head sculpt is, man, it's just on spot. I love the giant Autobot logo he's got going on on his chest, and it's just a really nice figure. They just, they're, they're kind of almost hollow. Uh, again, it's a giant Legends figure, but that's okay with me. Now for articulation on this guy, um, his head moves back and forth, and that's really about it. There's nothing at the waist. The arms, um, they move out like that. They, woo, he just flashed you. <laughs> they rotate up like that. Um, there is no elbow twist. Uh, there is a single joint at the elbow, uh, nothing at the wrists. His legs kick up that far. They kick uh, that far back. Uh, they kick all the way out. There's no twist at the upper leg. There is a single hinge joint at the knee. Uh, the feet do have some toe movement, but again, uh, you know, like other Transformers, that is uh, for transformation. 
And well, that about does it for the articulation. Not all that great, but also not bad. So taking a closer look at the figure itself, I love the head sculpt on this guy. I mean, it screams sideswipe to me. It's just, it's, it's about perfect to a Gen 1 look. Definitely digging that. Um, I like the chest. It's got kind of a Camaro type of look. He's got this massive Autobot logo on the front of the chest, which is cool. The red, very fire engine red. I like the black and the red and the white. They contrast really well. Um, they've got the windows painted a very nice glossy black which I definitely dig. Um, the tires could use some silver on the rims. That's easy enough to paint on, I suppose. But I like how the bot parts of the black on the plastic are a nice flat matte um, and differentiate it from the glass, which is very, very cool. Taking a look at the midsection of the figure. Um, again, sculpted pretty well. I wish the doors folded up away from the hands. Um, that's about the only real gripe I've got on these figures. They are more simplistic, and that's okay. Um, I like the white on the arms and the body and then uh, the black on the waist. I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, the back of the figure has some gaps, um, and that's, you know, really kind of for transformation and it just being a more simple uh, toy. Um, they could have filled in the back of the legs, but you don't really look at those, I suppose, so I can't complain too terribly much about it. Um, the same with the underarms, but uh, yeah, overall, not too terribly bad. Uh, like I said, it's a giant Legends figure. And finally, taking a look at the legs of the figure itself. He's got nice, big, wide feet. Um, he stands well, which is nice. You don't get a lot of dynamic poses out of it, but that's okay. I mean, he stands upright, which is what he's supposed to do. His legs look nice and big and bulky, very G1 cartoon-esque to me, which I do appreciate. Again, I wish we had some silver paint apps on the wheels, which, I mean, that could be easily applied by myself. We get a lot of gappage on the back of his legs, but that's for transformation. So, you know, that's acceptable. For comparison, here we have a sideswipe next to Prowl, and um, they are almost identical. Um, there is minor retools going on here. The chest piece is obviously different. The head is different. Um, the shoulders, exactly the same. Um, the waist and the legs are exactly the same. The upper uh, part of the uh, leg right here, the vehicle, are the same. The feet parts are different. Um, and then the forearm parts are different as well. So, I mean, there's some significant parts differences, but overall, they're really pretty much the same bot. It's just a retool, but I think they did a good job because they do look very different sitting side by side, which is nice. If you've got a nice larger scale Transformers collection, uh, these guys are pretty good sub-ins if you don't have, I guess, masterpiece size figures, or if you're just trying to army build, these are good bots to have in the background or customize if you so want. Uh, definitely the side swipe here. Um, he's a great troop builder and customized piece. And the more I look at these Cyber Battalion figures, the more and more I dig them. Now, Sideswipe does turn into a sports car, which, you know, not unexpected. Um, I really do dig the fact that it has a completely different look than Prowl, um, but I got a feeling that's the same chassis that Bumblebee has. I'll have to take a look at another Bumblebee when I see him. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it works uh, for the sports car. Let's go ahead and transform uh, Sideswipe into that sports car mode and see what we think. Sideswipe in his vehicle mode, and I don't know what it is about this particular figure, but getting the legs to snap into place back here is just hard. You gotta kinda wiggle it into place and it will finally get there, and uh, all the parts will get in and form together. So you pretty much have a bot underneath. But overall, I like the look of the vehicle. It's very strong, it's got a muscle car look, which is nice. I'm guessing that's supposed to be a Camaro. And we could easily get a cliff jumper out of this, just repaint Bumblebee, maybe put the cliff jumper style head on it, and then paint this thing yellow and give us a sun streaker. I really hope we get a sun streaker in this line. That'd be a lot of fun. But definitely digging the car. Like I said, it's nice, it's big, it's bulky. Love that giant Autobot logo. Um, we get the white 
headlights up there, the black grill looks nice, everything looks pretty decent. Um, I wish that was red, but in the bot mode that would look kind of funny. Um, we need some paint apps on the back, that would be nice. But overall, I mean, it's pretty solid, it rolls really well, it's a good big bulky car, um, and uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's a pretty good size scale figure. For comparison, here we have the Terracon Cliff Jumper. Uh, this is the Takara Zombie Cliff Jumper. Uh, deluxe figure in, um, well, I guess it'd be a Voyager. No, that'd no, be a deluxe figure um, from Transformers Prime um, in scale. I mean, and as you can see, uh, it's it's a lot larger than Cliff Jumper is here. And what is that? Dust Bunny. Time to dust off the Transformers, I guess, huh? But as you can see, it's a pretty decent size in comparison to this deluxe bot. And considering the prices that you're paying, this is, uh, what, $16.99 or $15.99 versus a Transformer this size nowadays is uh, going for like, uh, I don't know, about the same price, about $14.99 to $16.99 depending on where you're buying it. And you're getting a lot more plastic out of this guy. Thanks, Walgreens! So is the Cyber Battalion Sideswipe a figure that you want in your Transformers collection? Well, if you don't like this line, this is an easy pass. If you're a Sideswipe completist, I think you're going to like this figure. Um, I like the Cyber Battalion line. Um, some of the characters look better than others. This is definitely on the top of the list for me. I love the head sculpt on the guy. I like the design of the vehicle. I like how his chest is a little bit different. Um, it's a little simplistic in the transformation, but not too terribly bad. I wish that the doors folded up uh, away from the arms. Other than that, I really like the figure for what it is. So there he is, Sideswipe from Transformers Cyber Battalion. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Like us on Facebook and look for more videos in the future.